so today in word work, we're going to be talking about some ninja letters. So these are letters that are completely silent at the beginning or end of words. So first I'm going to talk to you about the ninja K. So K, when it gets next to the letter N, becomes a ninja. And it goes completely silent in words like no. Like I know that you can do all of these hard things. So let me see if I can find the word no here. I've got lots of ninja words. For examples, of course, it's the very last one. That always happens to me, doesn't it? But in words like, no, I know that I can learn new things. So in words like no and knit or knock, the K is going to be a ninja. When you see the letters K and N right next to each other, you know that K is going to be a ninja letter. It is not going to make a sound. So K N makes the N sound just like with the regular N at the beginning. There are also words like knife. So if I were to tap that out the regular way, knife, knife, knife. Can you get me a knife out of the drawer, please? Mm, that doesn't sound right. I need to remember that K, K N makes the N sound because the K is a ninja. So the K has been a ninja for a really long time and it's next to the letter N. But the ninja needs some ninja friends. So the K also has friends W and G. So when W and R are together, you do not hear the letter W because it is also a ninja in words like wreath, wreath. So it just makes the sound, wreath or wrapper or wrap. What about Right, you guys have seen this word all year long. Did you know that you've been reading a word with a ninja letter inside of it? Oh my goodness. So when a W is next to an R, it makes its ninja sound too, which is not a sound at all. Okay, there are also, there's also the ninja G. And the ninja G is only a ninja when it is next to an N in words like gnaw, gnaw, like my dog likes to gnaw on a bone. Or what about words like, this was one of our spelling words a few weeks ago, sign, sign. Do you hear the G sound? No, because it's next to an N, so it does not make any sound. Also, it's in words like design, design. I don't hear the G sound. So when you see these letters together, your job is to know that the first letter, K, W, and G, are being ninjas. They are not making a sound. Okay, so I'm going to hold some pictures up to the screen and I want you to practice reading these words with the ninja letters. Are you ready? We know that K-N makes the N sound, W-R makes the R sound, and G-N also makes the N sound. Are you ready? Practice reading those words. You can say it to the screen or you can say it to a grown-up. What is that word? Wrist. Wrist. This is my wrist.
cannot, cannot. Did I get it right? No, okay. You try it. Not, not. That's a ninja K right there. Ooh, this one's a little tricky. You know that W is going to be a ninja letter, so wrestle, wrestle. It's a type of burr. Rin, Rin. That W is a ninja letter. Ring, ring, like I ring the water out of the washcloth. There's only a few more. All right, which letter's our ninja letter? K's a ninja. So we just add Neil. Neil. This is something that I've been learning how to do. Knit. Knit. Ninja K doesn't make a sound. Wrong. Wrong. And last but not least, knob, knob, like a door knob. Okay, so your job is to know that K-N makes the N sound because the K is a ninja. W-R makes the R sound because the W is a ninja. And G-N makes the N sound because the G is a ninja. And ninja letters do not make any sounds. Okay, we're going to practice more with this later this week. But this is just for you to practice reading some of those words. Have a great day, friends.